I think it's important to talk about the value of maritime arbitration for both users and for London. Uh, and when I talk about maritime arbitration, it's important to bear in mind that I'm referring not just to shipping disputes, but also to international trade and offshore energy, all of which occur in a maritime context. So far as users are concerned, many of them value maritime arbitration as a flexible and cost-effective way of resolving their disputes. Uh, and they also value it because arbitration awards are easily enforceable in many countries of the world by reason of the New York Convention. So far as concerns the value to London, well, maritime arbitration is a huge invisible export. It contributes to revenue not only through the arbitration itself, but also through ancillary services such as uh, venue hire and so on. And I think when we talk about growth, it's really important to bear in mind that London is already the preferred venue for the resolution of maritime arbitration disputes by a long way. No other venue or institution comes anywhere close in terms of case numbers. Uh, so I think we are seeing uh, an increase in disputes coming from the offshore energy sector and being resolved on LMAA terms and procedures, particularly in relation to wind farm projects. But the really important point is that London is already the centre of maritime arbitration.